<laughs> you're one of. Uh, okay, you're the second person you're the that second, actually said that. So you're next to you and Ricky. We gotta Gervais. quit watching TV, I guess, because that, <laughs> that's what that looks like. <laughs> Ricky Gervais was the other one from, that's awesome. who commented on it. Yeah, it's, like, it's a taser. We have we have a microphone uh, windscreen that goes over. It makes it look a little less tasery, but you know. <laughs> Uh, so how's the tour, the tour going? Oh man, the tour is extremely successful. I think it's been really good. Um, the fans have been incredible in every city. Like none of them have been any less than the others. They've been amazing. And uh, I mean, it's not really us that makes it amazing. I guess we sing the part, but the people that nobody ever sees are they're solid as a rock. I mean. I watch them almost every night, at least for a few minutes, watch them work. They won't let me work. I've asked, actually. <laughs> Talking about, like, the band? or No, no, no. Oh, the, the band's amazing. The crew? Like, the but road the crew? crew? The road crew. The people that, that build the stage, put it up together, and tear it down every night. And it's amazing. Yeah. And, and, and it's because of them that it seems to go off without hits every single night. Um, you know, our road guy, the number one guy, the leader of it all, his name, we call him Nimmer, and he's just... He's amazing, and he's just got a, a crew of people that it don't make sense what they can do. Well, you're the one guy that uh, you have a family, so has it, has it been tough on, on you being away from your wife and kid? Oh, yeah. It's, it is the only thing that's tough about it, is to be honest with you. Uh, who wouldn't call this heaven but, but that one thing? Um, I wish they could be with me, but they're not. You know, it makes sense. It's part of it. And everybody has to make sacrifices to somehow reach that place that they want to and I think that the place that I'm heading is going to benefit my wife and kids so it's worth it but it is extremely painful extremely they've gotten to see the show at least right they have they were in Arizona and in Dallas um, and I don't want to see them again until it's over because it like leaving Dallas on a bus was the hardest time of the whole tour because I had seen them for a couple of days and kind of gotten them around me and I was feeling it and then all of a sudden boom and then we just have to drive away and it was extremely painful. Now, we noticed that, that you guys are all wearing these USO stickers. Uh, you guys uh, were doing some work with the USO today. How was that? Um, we went to um, Walter Reed Medical Center, and it's probably the most humbling experience that I've ever had, really, to be honest. I've, you know, I've never lost sight of our armed, for armed forces and the people that fight for us. I've never not thought about them. But that really brought something to my, to my heart that I never experienced. And uh, it was funny, the guy said I was his favorite one, and all I could think was, a favorite for what? Like, you, you lost your leg, and your, you know, his arm was all ripped up, and skin grafts and things like that, and I'm thinking, how in the world am I someone that you look up to? And uh, it, was, it was quite humbling, and I'll say probably every one of us had tears in our eyes at some point, but it was an incredible experience. I want to go back, actually. Um, where were you guys when you heard the Poland news? Somewhere in Dallas, I mean, uh, uh, DC. DC yesterday. I, I just, we got, we got text from her, you know. Uh, we knew about it, and I, you know, it's just one of those things, dude. It's business. She seems like she always had one of, she, she had a, the closest relationship with the contestants. Did you find that to be true? Absolutely. I mean, she's, she's kind of the glue and everything and during the season. Um, you know, other than all the people behind the scenes that nobody ever sees that, that make that m amazing machine called American Idol. Other than them, uh, outside of that, she is that person, that caring, nurturing person that was always very loving, very caring, even when the cameras were off. And she, it didn't matter what she said or not because she wasn't getting publicity out of it. And it was just from her heart. She was still that same sweet, amazing woman who was extremely encouraging. And uh, American Idol wouldn't be the same without her, I promise you that. <laughs> Uh, who's had the most, uh, the, the funniest fan incident uh, since you've been on tour? Adam, hands down. I mean, somebody throwing bras and panties at you it's just don't, I mean, <laughs> you're not gonna there's not bra much to compete action. that. I don't, I don't expect to have a bra thrown at me at all. No, sir. Um, I don't find my, most people don't find me all that attractive. <laughs> All right, we're doing uh, superlatives for everybody. So, uh, of, the, of your tour mates, who's the messiest? messiest tour mate. That's really difficult. Because none of them, well, I can't even think of anybody. Okay. By the way, I, really, do you, I can't. By the way, do you guys sleep on the bus? Yes. You sleep we on do. the bus. There's, there's road trips where we were on there from six to ten hours sometimes. I mean, like, it was a ten hour drive from Atlanta to um, North Carolina. Or, no, 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 wait. Ten hour drive from Florida to Atlanta. We get them all mixed up. Biggest flirt? Biggest flirt? 
Imagine. We, it's, <laughs> redundant. Yeah, it's redundant at this point to even ask the question. <laughs> we gotta find him now. Uh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Who's the funniest? Mm. That's really difficult. Uh, I would say Matt's up there. Matt and Danny really, really seem to keep it uh, hilarious. Okay, and the loudest? Scott. Scott, okay. Yes. He likes to do vocal warm ups. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> you get to know each other pretty darn well on yes, this tour, don't you? Good to know. All right, Michael, uh, good pl- pleasure talking to you again. Thank you, bro. Cheers. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Yep.